Oh, well, this is familiar. Ow! <laughs> I like drop. There we go. Ten pick locks later, and I finally bloody got it. Whoa. I think this place is about to get flooded. Possibly. And I'm not going to wield an axe. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Where is it? Where is it? I'm going to wield the dagger. That's better. The axe is just a bit too heavy, okay? It's not my thing. Ish. I mean, I used to wield them, but then I stopped wielding them when I learned how to wield a sword. Alright, let's have a look. Up here? We need to get that down. Don't Oof. push me on the thing! I hear it, I don't see it. Are they behind the door? Hi! Take that. Is that all of them? Looks like it. Oh. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Lu uh, Lucian, stay there. Hang on. This one needs to be a dolphin. I think I got it. I think I got it. Assuming that these all f three of these move. They do. Good. That was a snake. Who are you? You're a bird. So bird and snake and dolphin. Bird, snake, dolphin. Bird, snake, dolphin. Bird. No, you're not a bird. You're a bird. Snake, dolphin. Fingers crossed. Yeah, look at that. I wouldn't be surprised if this it took them longer than years, like a few probably dozen. Most likely. I wouldn't be Okay, that was on me. That one was on me. Oh, I can't I don't I'm moving before Elytra kills me. Seriously, I'm, I'm gonna send you home. Bloody Riley. But I'm gonna have to use me bloody healing magic now. Cause I ain't wasting a potion on that. Sheesh, Elytra. You've got it out for me, haven't you? you? You most definitely have, girl. Alright. Anything good in here other than a gold ingot? Really? Just a gold ingot? Nearly. Nearly got set on fire. That was not worth the picks. I like just trying to trap me inside again. You, I want my arrows back. They're just boulders, Lucian. Grow some muscles. It's a good looking bow. Doesn't beat mine, but still, it's good looking.
Well, this looks interesting. Oh, here we go. Stay dead, please. Oh. I don't need the boat. Lucian, take care of the ones down here, please. That was terrible. Lucian. Of course you're stuck behind there. You. Kindly go back to sleep, please. Cold. Very cold. Very cold. Very cold. Very cold. Oh, how many more? These are not appreciated. Take that to the ankle, or the knee. That looked like the knee. Come and get me. Come on. Come on. Nice try. You're facing a wood elf. He loves shooting bows. Quite naturally. That was a lot of arrows. Okay. I'm gonna, I've got a lot of collecting to do now. Oh, my arrow's back. Right, there was one this side as well, wasn't there? Hold on, Lucian. Hope that the draugr won't be chewing on our bones. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> <laughs> Lucian, if you can make like any kind of song out of any kind of situation, you are going to be the highlight of our adventures. Probably. You will in my books. Seriously, more great swords. Great swords are too heavy. Oh well, moving on. Anything good back here or am I leading myself into more terror? Probably more terror. There's a big ass chest, there is a lovely wall. Let's... Now we understand a little bit about them. Ish. Again, that's a big sword. And a wakeling stone. Lucian, your favourites! <laughs> ah, no. I did not approve. What do we have? I'm taking that coin purse. Well, time to get another headache. Again. What have you got for me this time? I tell you what, I really hope that the Greybids actually tell me about all this lot, because I don't have a clue what's going on. Ah, oh, there's the headache. There's the headache. That's, that hurts. That, that hurts. Surely, after all these years, these ruins can't still be structurally stable. Sorry, just thinking out loud. You can think aloud as much as you like, to be honest. I will not stop you. Is it bad that I'm going? I want to take a swim. Probably. Let's have a look. Anything underneath? Doesn't look like it. Which is sad. Ah, I was hoping for something at least. Oh well. Uh, this way? Oh, I ain't getting over there, am I? How you had to get over there? Maybe one day I'll learn. 
Okay, uh, you. Open, says me. Give us all. And a very small tunnel. It's a good thing I'm tiny. There we go. Right. Open that up. I knew that had to be a secret entrance or something. I knew it. His body's gone. That's terrifying. I feel like I should really keep that sword out. I probably should. Uh, that one. And you. Whoops. Hang on, guys. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Come on, Elytra. Right. And that one. There we go. Now you're free. And now you're free to get me stuck inside the bloody room again. Alright, let's go. We've got 7,000 steps to climb after f climbing these steps and all the other steps in this bloody dungeon. Ah, fresh air! I approve of said flesh fresh air. Absolutely greatly. Oof. Alright. Do I take a rest? Ori, how you doing, love? You okay over there? You look okay. Okay, we, we've got some climbing to do. You ready for this? I don't know if I am. We don't have much choice though, do we? Okay. Right. None of these are traders, right? I think they are. It's just that I've got a bunch of stuff for me. Ori, do you mind if I plop a few more books in your backpack? I've just got a few, okay? Okay. Book settled. Let's go say hi to the Greybeards. Somehow. I think the way is over here. I could really do with a merchant or something. Oh well. We'll set it when we get back to White Run. Hopefully. Right. 7,000 steps? Oh, my knees are gonna kill me. Are these the tablet things? Emblem 1. Before the birth of men, a dragon ruled all Mundus. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs. For the voice could blot, blot out the sky and flood the land. I can do that? No. Highly doubtful. Surely not. How can a voice blot out the sky? Whoa, hi! You came out of nowhere. That was highly unnecessary. And also makes me travelling this path extremely cautious now. I kind of want to keep my sword out. I kind of hope that that doesn't come again. Oh, that is a view. We're not even halfway up and already the view is amazing. Okay, before I get distracted by more of the scenery... Hi! Did you make the steps? 
Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Wolves? I've just faced a spider. Did you by any chance hear the Greybeard's call too? I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. Well, I've been sort of told what it means, kind of. Ish. Not that I understand it. What, what exactly is it you're doing? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. Sounds fair to me. Do you visit the Greybeards much? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. But not to make conversation. These Greybeards must have like a very high reputation if people like... Basically, more or less worship them. Like, All right then. Okay, thanks. Like, seriously, like they give food and essentials to people they don't even know because they don't communicate to them. And I don't know. There's just something fishy about that. I don't. I don't know. Elm two. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. If that's the case, how did we get the voice in the end? Better question, how the heck did I get the voice? I should not have the voice. Why do I have the voice? I didn't agree to any of it. Oh, hello. You are big. Ow. That's a big cat. Oh, forgive me as I skin you. At least they got their own game. That hunter said that he was catching game on the way up here. How did he miss that cat? It's not, technically, it's not a actual. Well, yeah, it is a cat, but it's a very big cat, okay? I hear my friends. At least, I know to put away my sword, at least. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hey? You good? There's a dead goat down there if you're hungry. And a big cat. I've already skinned it, so. You don't have to get fur in your gob. Oh no, you've got a dead goat up here anyway. Never mind then. Ugh, how many steps? Lucian, how many steps? Uh, I've not been counting. I don't trust this. What's this? Emblem free. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times, unafraid to war with dragons and their voices. But the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. As in literally shattered their hearts? That wouldn't surprise me. I mean, compare us to a dragon. I mean, we are absolutely tiny compared to them. They only need to stomp on us and that's it, we're gone. It's really high up. And it's very cold. Like, very cold. It's one hell of a view. They have the best view. I'm half tempted to stay here. Maybe, after the troubles are all gone. I mean, the Civil War, who knows? That might go on for bloody ages. If that's the case, I'm staying up here. They don't seem to come near this place, so... 
well, yet. I mean, I'm sure if you ang if the Greybeards do something that anger them, I'm sure, sure they'll end up coming up here eventually. Hello. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Rothgar. Already met my friend. Um, I assume you're just like the other guy that we met. Did you hear the Greybeards call? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Uh, who are you exactly? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Ah, oh, that's understandable. So what is it you're doing? I assume you're praying. Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Sounds like a good trip, especially one to clear the mind. I mean... This place is a tiny bit beautiful if it is at the same time also very deadly. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Emblem 4. Kine called on Parthenax, who pitied man. Together they taught men to use the voice. Then dragon war raged, dragon against tongue. Who pitied man. Like... Huh? Why would he pity man? I don't know, that's just fishy. Why is that blue? That's not concerning at all. 